Hallelujah. First bone for this rod, brand new rod. <laughs> and now, Boating Basics with Mark Kimura from the Honolulu Community College. How's it, gang? This is Mark Kimura from Honolulu Community College's Marine Education and Training Center, Small Vessel Fabrication and Repair Program. And today I want to show you guys how to do a, a gear case oil change, leg oil change. Most of them will have a vent on the upper side of the gear case. All these screws definitely will have some kind of seal. So make sure you know where it is. And this should be the drain. Some kind of appropriate catch container would be good. Um, just don't let it go down the drain and everything else. Yeah, that's not ecologically responsible. So this gear case oil is of normal color. There's no water. I don't see any metal contamination. If it came out looking like a milkshake or white and milky, then you have some kind of leak and that needs to be addressed at that point. A lot of these gear cases now will tolerate synthetic oil as opposed to mineral oil. Check for proper weight, uh, recommendations. If you're not sure, go check your manufacturer. All right, gang, it looks like it slowed down a reasonable amount. We'll go ahead and try and screw this in. Okay, and then we'll sit down and we'll just pump it. It always has to be from the bottom up. This allows any air to be purged toward the top. Like I said, the top is basically a vent. The fill and drain is the bottom. Okay, here it comes. That's considered full when it just seeps out the top. Check your plugs for gasket. Some motors may have a top and bottom plug. The bottom will have a magnet that may need to go on the bottom. You can go ahead and snug that up a little bit. That will help hold a vacuum in the gear case. Okay, these gear case plugs should have a torque value. I will tell you that you need to make it relatively tight. You figure that these things have um, ocean or water rushing past it. So I like to sit down and I'll snug it up. Usually by this time, my hands are pretty oily. So holding on to even a big screwdriver becomes difficult. This is nothing more than an impact screwdriver. Helps make sure it's snug. Okay, gang, that's about it for a quick gear case change. Uh, something maintenance needs to be done perhaps once a year. Um, something you could probably do at home with the right amount of tools and a little bit of time. Okay, gang, till next time, this is Mark Kimura. Aloha. Next on Hawaii Goes Fishing, Clay turns the tables and has the flies attracting fish.